Hey, thanks for checking out my vlog. So, um, I've been running around since I've got, since I've been up this morning. Uh, it is currently 11.30ish. Um, and I am looking, I had an idea. Now, I'm gonna, uh, I've, as I've said before, I start, I'm started diving in headfirst back into, uh, planning out my mini-series for the school for my, uh, for their school dress code, and I was thinking about it, I'm like, you know, I need some, uh, some sort of a microphone, and whenever I looked it up, the boom mics and everything like that, that's, that professionals typically use to record dialogue onto their cameras, uh, are, you know, 50, or 69 bucks and up, and it really sucks to say this, but I don't have that kind of money right now. Um, so, I was trying to think about it, and, you know, I was thinking, you know, what sort of microphone is easy to come by and is used to pick up sounds at a fairly close distance and isolate everything around it as best it can. And I came to the conclusion that it's going to be something like a microphone that is used in a car stereo for, like, Bluetooth. Like, I've got a Bluetooth receiver in my car, and I've got the microphone for it right up there. And I believe that, it, if I'm remembering correctly, because I put this in myself, okay? I put this in myself and it's not supposed to work with my car, and it does, because uh, I toyed around with it for so long. And as far as I can remember, it is exactly the connection that I need. Essentially, it's a line-in connection, but it has one ring instead of two, because in fact, it only has one input, uh, one signal going to it, so, which is what I believe I need, uh, which is what I know I need for my camera, and I believe that that kind of a microphone is going to be doable. Yeah, I'll put it that way. Uh, so, I so far have been to Meyer and AutoZone, uh, looking for their, looking for a microphone. The problem is, is that I'm finding microphones that are made to be plugged into an audio in-source and out-source that, you know, you can plug it into your phone and it'll also give you the microphone in the line and everything like that. You can play music and everything. That's not what I need. I need simply the one, I need simply the one signal. That's the audio in from an audio, from microphone. So, I am going over to D&B sales because, you know, that seemed more, most logical to stop at next. I don't know why I didn't think of that, but I didn't. But I am, and so, here we go. Okay, so, uh, even D&B Sales says that, uh, they don't know if I can't, if I would be able to do that. I will grant that, you know, the two weren't particularly made with the idea in mind that, you know, oh, well, you can just be able to plug this microphone into line in, uh, source and record. I get that they weren't particularly designed for it. But that doesn't mean that I can't try, and Dean B. Sales says, I, I don't know if you can do that. And I'm like, okay, can I try? And it's like, I, I just, I don't know if you can do that. I'm thinking, well, freaking let me try. I mean, seriously. I mean, I've got a light on my camera that's not particularly designed for it, but it works. So, I'm like, really? You're, you guys aren't even going to let me try. They're not even going to let me try. Okay, fine. Oh. Uh, Sears. I'm, 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 I'm going to, I'm going to check out Sears. I'm going to check out Sears and see if they can help me with this. Even Sears Automotive says that they don't have the microphone that I'm looking for. Not that they don't think it would work, but the fact that they don't have it. Not having it, fine. I couldn't understand that. 
you don't have it in stock, that's understandable. But don't freaking tell me that you don't know if it'll work and then restrict me from, you know, not trying at least. God. Uh, I guess my next option is Best Buy. Even Best Buy, who normally has stuff like that, simply doesn't have the replacement part on, or rather, in stock. So, however, they directed me to po the possibility of Sweetwater. So, I was already planning on going to Guitar Center anyway, but you know what? I think I may change that to going to Sweetwater. I'm going to go check to see that my vlog from yesterday is completely exported because it was taking its sweet time and I didn't feel like waiting on it. So, I was already planning on making a stop at the house anyway on my way to the library because... I need to talk with somebody about possibly shooting in the uh, computer lab uh, beside the library for my mini series. So, um, yeah, gonna see about that. All right, I got my I'm getting my vlog uploaded right now from yesterday. Uh, I literally just poked into the house and uh, started uploading it. Uh, right now, I'm gonna go down to the downtown library, double check as to who I need to talk to about getting in the computer lab. And then I'm off, I don't know, I might check out Sunny Shake before I go check out Sweetwater, because Sunny Shake is a camera shop, granted they are DSLR cameras that are really me more meant to take pictures and photos than actual video, but I mean, they are really, you know, they're like this, you know. DSLR and video cameras are basically like this, you can do, a lot of people actually do video on DSLR cameras so uh, yeah I guess I'm gonna go check that out next after the library okay so uh, the, uh, the person I need to talk to about possibly shooting over at the uh, computer lab next to the maker lab uh, is in human resources which human resources office is currently closed because it's Saturday go figure so, I'm literally hop, skip, and a jump across the street here, right in front of the library. Right in front of the downtown library, on over to Sunny Shit Camera Shop. Here we go, let's try this. Oh, goody, I get to play, play Frogger. And that person just randomly waved at me. I could very easily go, even though it's a red light for me, but I'm just enjoying this beautiful weather right now because I've been cooped up in my basement bedroom slash work for way too long right now so I'm just kind of enjoying the nice weather so once again uh, the guys down at Sunny Schick camera shop are absolutely awesome uh, they were ready and willing to sell me a uh, a uh, boom stand for a microphone for 20 bucks and I checked it out it's really nice I like it it'll definitely do well for me but that's step two. That's step two. I need to complete step one, which is to get the actual microphone, which they unfortunately don't freaking have. Nevertheless, I will go back to get that boom stand. Uh, definitely, um, I'm thinking by Wednesday at the latest. So it looks real nice. I will vlog it once I get it. And right now I am heading, I'm going to head out to Sweetwater for a bit. Yeah. I got my bag of stuff uh, to bang around on some drums for a bit. It's not necessarily that I need these things. Uh, it's just that I want them with me. In that bag, I have my line-in cable with an adapter uh, to go from, I believe it's quarter inch to 35 millimeter. Uh, and that's how it is that I bang around on the drum sets over there. I just plug in my phone here to, uh, the brain to be able to play along with some music. So, I just, that's basically the way that I get kind of warmed up in order to do some of my own stuff, because it just works better for me. It, it just works better for me. It, it warms me up, it breaks me into it, and it just overall works better for me. So, that's what I'm going to do for, for a little bit, um, in addition to getting the research that I need to figure out if I, 
for some reason, I don't know, I don't, I wouldn't think of Sweetwater having a microphone for video stuff, but on the other hand, I hear they do plenty of stuff with videos, so I don't know. Sweetwater to me, I'm still trying to wrap my head around the concept they do video stuff. I just, it's a music store. Yes, music and video go hand in hand, obviously. I, and it's good. It's really good. I'm I, I'm really happy with the fact that they do that. But I just can't wrap my head around Sweetwater being a store that I would go to for video stuff. I don't know why. I just don't. But I'm glad that they do, or at least hopefully do. Hopefully they've got what I want. Hopefully they've got what I want. This is just a really good place to think. It really is. I remember the last time I was here and I was in a fairly bad spot, but I've gotten over that now. And I'm also working through it at the same time. For right now, my main train of thoughts are, do I go ahead and I get the microphone stand right now? I want, Half of me wants to wait in case something would come up and everything like that. And the other half of me doesn't want to wait because something might come up. And then another train of thought that I'm having is, you know, about trying to pull this mini series together. Uh, I'm not sure. That's going to be new territory for me to be pulling uh, people for it. Um, I have turned in an application to Target, hoping I get back into the electronics department. It's going to be better pay for me. It's going to be a better job for me overall because of the fact that it's going to be electronics. So, there is that. Um, trying to find more gigs to shoot at. And for me, personally, the DJ ones and the party ones and the festival ones, they seem to be the easiest. Not just to find, but to also do a video for. Um, I've definitely gotten better as far as, you know getting a good quality video done in a reasonable amount of time and whenever I say a reasonable amount of time I mean like by the end of that same week or you know and it the DJs really seem to be the most laid-back people which is the type of people that I definitely feel most comfortable with doing business with right now uh, the wedding videos yes they're good um, I do them because of the fact that they put my name out there and it, again it's money in my pocket. I'm I'm simply going to have to put my price tag out there and negotiate. I'm just going to have to work through the awkwardness. Um, yeah, that's basically what I have to do right now. Um, as I said, this weekend is more just simply thinking and relaxing and almost in a way thinking back to what I've done and how I've gotten to the point that I have. So, yeah. This kind of deep thought process. Okay, I'm leaving Sweetwater and I am actually about ready to go ahead and get that boom mic stand because I figure, you know, it's one thing I can take off my plate and I, I can get the easy part out of the way at least. At least I can get that much. And I'm going to do some more research on the actual microphone itself and see what all I need. Um, pretty sure that I, I've got at least a good general direction uh, from Sweetwater of all places. Turns out they're not a strictly music store. They are more or less a... Uh, sound store is what I was told by the sales guy so that makes sense it, make, it, it makes more sense is what I should say 
So I'm gonna go back over to Sunny Chick Camera Shop and get that boom mic set up. Okay, so I'm home now, and um, I I wound up running into Doug um, completely unexpectedly. Had lunch, and that basically took up all my time from the time that I went to Sunny Chick to the time I had to go into work. After I went into work. I went over to Pierre's because I was expecting to run into a DJ to uh, shoot at least one video with and get some money going. Unfortunately, the DJ that was at Pierre's tonight absolutely sucked. I did not stay there over an hour, and I only stayed there for that long because of the fact that the DJ was actually a half hour late getting to his own damn show anyway. So I'm going to wait up, I'm going to wait, and I'm going to stay in contact actually with Pierre's and um, see when they're one of two, apparently there's two DJs that spin there regularly. So I'm going to keep in contact with Pierre's about when they will be spinning and then see about talking with them about doing some at least one video for them. I figured that, you know, club videos are easy enough for me to do that I can do them in a reasonable amount of time, but that they're also challenging enough that, you know, I'm making them challenging enough by, you know, making sure that I keep pushing myself, that I keep on, you know, making something up that's, you know, fresh. Uh, changing up a little bit of what I do, everything like that, and they're, and I'm pushing the envelope on the money part hard. Um, I'm probably only going to keep this current price tag for so long, and then I'm going to bump it up, and I'm just going to keep on bumping it up until until I can't bump it up anymore. So. And essentially, that mo most of that money will wind up going to uh, funding for my own short movies. Um, because in all honesty, I've been trying to save up money for, you know, getting, you know, different camera equipment, getting better software, getting, you know, an upgrade to my computer, um, getting my drum kit, all that stuff. And it's simply not happening. Uh, so I'm going to see what I can do about that. And I bought, I went ahead and got the um, the boom mic stand. I'm not even going to try to vlog it tonight because I'm honestly too tired. I will vlog it Monday. I'm going to play around with it tomorrow. T uh teaching myself how to get it set up and everything like that tomorrow. Um, I'm not planning on doing very much of anything else tomorrow besides that, work, and just a bunch of YouTube videos and TV shows and movies and stuff like that, just relaxing for the most part. So, um, but Monday I will definitely vlog the crap out of my day because I'm pushing my mini series get my short series getting started as well as I'll also vlog me you know with the boom mic stand and I still need to find a mic anyway <laughs>